In this video, I'm going to talk about preheating the Tesla. I will explain what it is, what the benefits are, and how it works. So, um, preheating is um, that, that you can start the heater of the car when you're not even there. So, basically, you ac access the car via the mobile app or a visible Tesla, which runs on a computer. And uh, you can start the heater from there. And once you start it, it will run for half an hour. And if you want to preheat longer, then you just restart it again after half an hour. So I usually um, preheat for about half an hour to one hour. Yeah. Um, so that's what it is. Okay. And the benefits with preheating, well, there are, there are actually many benefits. Um, yeah. Obviously, <laughs> one of the benefits is that um, you will uh, you will come to a, a nice and warm car you know the, the, the steering wheel the seats uh, the buttons er everything will be uh, you know, in a good um, good nice and warm yeah so because of this I rarely or, or actually almost never use a seat heater same with my wife so, um, it's really nice this feature another um, uh, side effect of it is uh, that um, you never you never really have to scrape your windows for uh, for frost because uh, yeah in in half an hour the yeah it will melt all the frost so I have a an open uh, garage where I park so I never get frost on the windows but if I would park outside you know after five minutes frost is gone yeah um, so that's the, some of the benefits. You also have other benefits, uh, which comes to um, some technical stuff now. Uh, the battery, the battery pack and regen. So um, regen is, uh, by the way, uh, yeah, we Tesla guys, we call it regen. It's a short, a short uh, version of regeneration. So it has something to do with when the car rolls downhill, you regen energy back. So if the battery is cold, the car will uh, limit the amount of regen and why the heck does it do that I mean why don't you just give it all the fun you know okay um, Tesla has uh, some or maybe the most advanced uh, battery management system it takes care of the battery and it takes care of the temperature of the battery almost like the blood in, in our bodies it keep, tries to keep it in a nice steady temperature. Uh, I think it's around 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. So, um, and if the battery is cold, it will limit the power. If the battery is too hot, it will also limit the power and limit. Uh, I mean, the power input, which is region, and also out, output. Oh, yeah, and also input when you charge the supercharger. So, um, anyway, back to topic. Um, if it's cold you will get a dotted line and uh, you will have less regen than uh, you would. Uh, usually it's not a big problem because um, unless you, you're gonna start driving downhill down a mountain, most people they don't need that regen uh, right away. So um, it's more like a convenience that um, you, um, you are used to how the, the car will um, react when you let go of the pedal so uh, it's a bit unusual that uh, it will roll more you know you don't get that uh, usual break you can't do the one pedal uh, driving so uh, it's more for the convenience actually the region and as I mentioned if you have um, if the battery is cold you also get uh, a limitation you get a dotted line on the higher end which means uh, if you floor it you, you're not going to get the, the 420 horsepower in the p85 for instance so i bet that also uh, yeah that also um, applies for uh, the p85d so, so yeah that was um, the benefits and uh, now <laughs> comes some more technical stuff um, the car okay tesla more or less comes with um, six kilowatt uh, heater for the cabin so in here there's a six kilowatt uh, heater uh, in the front somewhere yeah in the dash uh, and that one will heat up the car the, uh, tesla does not have 
heat exchanger. I mean, it has air air conditioning, but it it doesn't use that one to uh, to heat up the car. Unlike um, I know the Volkswagen E Golf has it. I also I think uh, Nissan Leaf has it. But uh, Tesla, they made it uh, easy. You know, the kiss keep it simple and stupid. So yeah, six kilowatt big freaking heater. In comparison, in Norway, if you have like a um, a big um, living room they usually have only two kilowatt for you know a big big room but then again the uh, house is more insulated than this uh, car you know? so six kilowatt is plenty yeah and uh, also there is a six kilowatt uh, battery heater so I'm not sure where that one is located probably on the same place but uh, the battery heater is uh, for heating up the battery and uh, when you are preheating in the car and when it's standing still, the battery heat will be active. Uh, there, are, there are some times when uh, it's not active, so I will come back to that soon. Um, <clears throat> anyway, the... Um, yeah, <laughs> okay. So, um, let me see, where do I... Okay, let me, now I'm gonna show you stuff on the screen because... Um, um, when you preheat the car, it will, it could potentially draw 12 kilowatts, but in reality, it doesn't do that. Uh, when you start from cold and you start, yeah, you start preheating, it will usually draw about six kilowatt. Uh, if you wanna trigger 12 kilowatt, well, what you have to do is um, go all the way up, uh, like. Press the, um, increase the temperature to uh, really high, let's say uh, 30 something degrees here, yeah. Then the power output will be 12 kilowatts. Now let's see, okay, let me go back to 20, yeah, that's my comfort temperature. And um, when, yeah, uh, <laughs> what usually happens is that when you start preheating it will go up to about six kilowatts uh, but only after about 10 minutes the power output will drop to uh, three kilowatt and then maybe after half an hour it will drop to only one and a half one kilowatt so um, this of course depends on the outside temperature and the temperature in the car and all that but that's usually how it goes and um, six kilowatt is a lot of power so if you are charging with uh, let's say shuko uh, which is about three kilowatt what the car will do is it will um, draw three kilowatt from the the outlet and then it will take the remaining from the battery so if you have let's say a, a weak connection it will suck everything it can from the wall first and then uh, take the rest from the battery so that also means that yeah, if you are charging, you will get less power uh, for the charging, and that could mess up if you're trying to time charging time uh, to finish at a certain time before you leave, because suddenly it will take longer. But uh, you get the idea. Um, but then again, you know, you get the <laughs> you also get the picture that if you have um, a powerful uh, charger, let's say you have uh, 7.4 kilowatt, uh, in reality you get. Uh, 6.6 .6 when you charge it, but let's say around 7 kilowatt. Uh, the car will draw up to 6 usually. That means all the power will be drawn from uh, the outlet and not the battery. I think that's actually a very good thing because uh, if you're going, if you want to leave, uh, you, you rather want to use energy from the wall instead of your battery. So you will have the most range when you set off. And, oh yeah, I forgot to mention another um, nice thing. <laughs> Actually, the most important thing about preheating is that uh, if you want to go on a long trip, you want to heat up the car. Because if you don't preheat the car, the, um, you will spend more energy in the, in the beginning. In the long run, in a long trip, let's say several hours, um, Actually, it has to be a really long trip, let's say over five hours. It would probably even out, but even on a trip like one to two hours, 
it's a significant draw, you know, if you have to start from scratch and heat up the car. So, yeah. Anyway, back to the technical stuff. So, um, then again, uh, if you have, let's say, 11 kilowatt uh, charger, I mean, yeah, plug, then you, uh, you have more power than you need, usually. So, you will um, spend six, and then the rest will be used for charging, or if you're finished charging, then nothing happens. So, yeah, that's how it works when um, the range mode is off. So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the range mode. So the range mode is something Tesla invented to um, reduce, uh, I mean, to uh, probably extend the range. In the beginning, I used it a lot, but uh, now I almost never use it. So I will explain now what the range mode is. Uh, I can also show you here on the screen. Okay, and you go here in the menu. There it is, range mode. So um, if you switch on range mode, what it will do, it will reduce the, the maximum power output to 3 kilowatt only. So even if you try to boost up the, the temperature or whatever, it will never go past 3 kilowatt. Um, I think the idea of that is that, um, you know, like I mentioned just now, when if you haven't preheated the car and you start driving, it could and and range mode mode is off. The car would probably you know draw six kilowatt when trying to heat quickly heat up the car, and then you also spend energy um, uh, for for propulsion for driving. And if you're only going on short trips to the store and whatever, and maybe you're wearing a jacket, so it's not a big deal. You maybe use seat heater. Uh, you will spend a lot of energy trying to heat up the car and then uh, you don't need to heat up the car anyway so um, yeah so the range mode will um, be more most useful when um, you are going on short trips and you don't care too much about the temperature inside another very important thing about range mode is that uh, oh what the heck okay the light switch off anyway Range mode will switch off the battery heater. So I mentioned before that the battery heater, a six kilowatt uh, heater for heating a battery, um, that it will, um, yeah, it will um, not heat up the battery. So if you preheat the car with range mode on, you will uh, experience that, um, okay, the cabin and everything after half an hour is nice and warm, but, you still have that uh, that dotted line. Uh, you still have no regen or reduced regen, and you might even have a power uh, uh, reduction. So, if you wanna utilize, I mean, if you wanna <laughs> if you wanna have a, a warm battery, you have to switch off range mode. So, uh, as um, Generally, I will recommend people to not use range mode um, unless they know what it is. So, um, range mode also have some other mm, kind of negative side effects. Is that uh, it will reduce the the amount of um, power to the uh, to the fans stuff and. Um, if you are uh, driving in rain or if you know, there are some uh, wet people inside or whatever, you will also get fog on your windows and um, with range mode on. With range mode off, you will get less or none of that. So there are actually more, like more disadvantages than advantages with range mode. And in the beginning, when I wasn't too experienced with the car, I thought that range mode made a huge deal when driving uh, far but uh, I soon learned that um, it doesn't do anything for a long trip so when I do long trips you know, five to ten hours the car has already been heated up and is as long as the car is heated up it doesn't require that much energy to maintain the, the heat in the car so um, let me see, it's gonna switch it off. Did I forgot something about uh, range mode? Hmm. Oh yeah, uh, one also very common uh, mis um, misunderstanding is that the range mode, like I mentioned, has something to do with 
power output for the heater um, it doesn't I mean range mode uh, <laughs> it's not the same as range charge so range charge is when you set this one to push the slider over here to 100% or whatever this is called yeah usually they call it range charge which will charge the car to 100% so that it does not have anything to do with range mode uh, okay well, okay yeah by the way I only charge you about 70% here and, uh, and, uh, when I'm uh, in the middle of the week and today is uh, Wednesday so um, let's see that was um, preheating yeah I think I haven't forgotten anything uh, if I do then um, you guys can always uh, ask me uh, yeah man, actually um, I wonder how many of you um, preheat the car I, I do it all the time <laughs> it's been like a habit for me to preheat the car it's so nice yeah so it's one of the best features of this car actually yeah, it's, um, it's really good um, yeah that's it for now <laughs>